the anger that you feel. And yeah. firstly, can you let everyone know your name? Because you didn't. Oh, uh, my name is Brett Porter, and my son Cody. And Brett, where's Brett from? I'm um, from in North Queensland. Brett's travelled quite a few thousand days to come here. Um, and yeah, Brett, the first thing we regarding your anger, the reason why you're getting into anger all the time is because there's a lot of childhood sadness that you don't want to let yourself feel. And you'd rather feel anger than sad. So one thing you need to do is pray to God about this issue of why you feel like anger is preferable. And you'll find that there's a lot of things to do with feeling powerless if you cry. Yeah, yeah I can relate to that. Yeah. Yeah. So what, what's going to help you get through this anger yourself is to actually start seeing that you want to feel powerful rather than feel the powerlessness of crying. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, yes it does. Yeah. So, so rather than choosing to be powerful, you can make a different choice and the choice is to be powerless. But you'll become almost addicted to the powerful emotion. Does that make sense? You know how the previous lady was addicted to the notion of self-blame? Yes. You'll become addicted to the anger. So if you can see your anger like a cigarette that you're reaching for every time that you feel sad inside of yourself. So every moment that you're angry, tell yourself this, I am sad and I don't want to feel it. I am sad and I don't want to feel it. Yeah. Because it's the choice that you're making to not feel your sadness that creates your anger. Now, your, your son gets angry for the same reason. He is made, He's, he's reflecting your choice to actually not feel your sadness. You will find when you start feeling your sadness properly, right, his anger will also subside. Yeah, I, I, yeah I, I sort of had that feeling that that was the case. Yeah. Because um, I, I, I do feel sad about a lot of things. That now you you have actually identified in in this uh, in this discussion you've already identified what you're sad about, but you're not letting yourself cry about it. You almost you got pretty close then, and you, there's a few tears run down. But what you're going to need to do now is actually tune into those feelings that you have about why, and really just let it flow. Make the choice to let that emotion flow rather than going back into a powerful state or a feeling of power. So, just very well, anger is your choice to feel powerful. Does everyone understand what I mean by that? Now, when you get angry, it is actually the indication that you are denying a deeper emotion. So, ask yourself what is the underlying emotion? and allow yourself to go to the underlying emotion. If you don't go to the underlying emotion, you will keep on going to this emotion of wanting power. And, and that emotion, wanting to feel powerful, is what causes so much damage to yourself and everyone else around you. Right. So does that make sense, Brett? Yeah, so it's sort of relating to um, the sadness about being left out not being wanted and not being loved. Yeah, you've yeah, actually please. also identified some sadnesses with your mother and your father. Uh, yes, yes. Your mother you felt oppressed by. Yeah. Like, you felt like you had to be a good boy all the time. Oh, yes. With your mother. And then with your father, you know, you were constantly looking for his approval and wanting time with him and everything and he never gave it to you. And there's some really, really deep core emotions about that in you that you're sad about. And allow yourself to go there. At the moment, what's happening is you're not allowing yourself to go into that childlike state okay. and actually feel that emotion. Yes, it does. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, I've sort of felt that that's been the case, but not able to be able to acknowledge it and to allow it to actually feel it. Yeah. Um, so the, the key thing right now is to every time you feel angry, to acknowledge that I'm denying my sadness. Yeah, yes. Every single time you feel angry, that's what's happening. I'm denying my sadness. And this particular situation, whatever the external situation is that triggered your anger, 
is just a trigger of the sadness as well. There's something that's sad about it, that you're finding sad about it. Does that make sense? And what you're doing is you're avoiding the sadness of it and going into anger. 